What's happening guys? What's going on? Welcome to another video of Ride with Raj. Yes, I'm like this because I went for a nice run. And tomorrow morning, 4 o'clock, I'm heading to Ahmedabad. Alright? And tomorrow is Sunday. So before I go, I think I should do a quick video of what I'm taking along with me. So let's not waste time and check this out. Alright, so that's my duffel bag. Okay, this is my bag. I don't have any saddle bag or anything as such. So this is the bag I'm carrying. It's a nice three day or a four day pack. Okay, um, it's quite roomy. Um, and I'll show you guys what all I'm putting in it. Uh, this will go on my bike. That's my my toolkit. Everyone knows Royal Enfield toolkit. So I'm carrying that. These are my knee pads. Uh, they are brand called Squico. The same brand which I'm using for my gloves. That's my Hydra pack that's given by a friend whom i met at a store and he's a real good buddy now and he's given me this pack to use very sweet of him in fact today he's on the Ahmedabad highway he's gone to surat and uh, this is is going to be handy the reason there's water inside is because i was trying some stunt i was actually trying to put this in my jacket <laughs> but i'll put it in my bag which is pretty good on the top and i can keep putting uh, this is a 1.5 liter uh, water pack the reason I'm taking Hydra pack is because uh, it seems Ahmedabad is nearly 40 degrees. So I'll have to hydrate myself all the time. That's my new selfie stick, which you can also call as monopod. It does come with a Bluetooth device and I'm supposed to review this. This is really, really awesome and handy. And I'll review that later on. That's my waist pouch in which I'll carry my wallet, keys, sunglasses or anything. Sunglasses I'm wearing currently. These sunglasses, they are from Fast Track. I think in my last Kawasaki video, you guys have seen this. So I'll be wearing this because it's going to be very hot. So I need sunglasses. That's my GoPro case. It's actually a sunglasses case, but I use it for my GoPro. So I have my GoPro. I have my mic mount, uh, basically a converter pin. And along with that is a USB charger for the GoPro. And yes, I have a couple of mounts here and the pin, yeah. And this is my favorite mount. I've never used it. I might use it for some good shots. So let's hope for the best. This is a clip mount. See that? Yep. So I'll be using that mostly. So yeah, so a knife for safety or anything if I need for like uh, cutting something or something. So I'm carrying this knife and uh, my GoPro housing. For the mount so basically this is my wire manager case and it has it still has some j mounts it has some pen drives uh, some extra pins if i need i have my ipod there i don't need that but i still have it here and uh, yes it does also have the selfie stick mount for that if i'm not hooking up my phone i can hook up my gopro on that which i will do that so it's for that and that's my power bank for the mobile phone if i ever need it though i have a charger on the motorcycle you guys have seen those are my Skoiko gloves which I've been wearing since 2 years and these are basically my clothes, that's my towel, that's my bandana <clears throat> that's a napkin I would use because every time when I stop I'll wash my face I'll feel refreshed and I think you should carry a nice napkin that's to clean the bike if it's got too dirty or something yeah so th those are my clothes basically as you can see there are hardly any like just one pair of jeans, two t-shirts um, some socks towel or uh, shorts to wear in the night and to chill because i'm just going for three days so i'm i i carry less clothes it's better to uh, get them washed and repeated or something but i don't want too much luggage so overall this is all i am actually carrying this important thing i'll be using is this bad boy okay i have this bungee cord more than two years right <laughs> with me actually it is my father's he used to always use it and i have it with me now so i've used it for goa you can see the picture yep and if you can notice in the photograph this is the same bag i was carrying to goa so um <clears throat> yeah besides this i'll be wearing my leather boots Ash is not coming along with me because he's a little busy he's giving me his riding pants he's just bought them and uh, i might wear that or i'll just wear jeans and go so let's let's uh, see how it goes and besides that, I think you guys should see this. All right, so this is a watch I actually wear during my ride. And I love this watch because it's very thin. So why I like this Casio F91W is because it's only 600 bucks. And I'm using this more than eight months, no, a year now. Okay, and you can see it is very light, it's very thin. It's a very simple function. It's got 
Today is Saturday as you guys can see today is the 5th and this is the time right now when I am shooting it's 5.54 in the evening it does have an alarm and it does have a small green light as you guys can see and simple it's called alarm stopwatch and time that's it it's a very simple watch yeah, so this is all what I'm taking and yes uh, how can I forget the safety feature the most uh, safe thing my helmet and now my helmet does have uh, Bluetooth you guys can see that's the Bluetooth that pin is for the GoPro mic I've kept it like that so I can put the adapter that's my mic from which I'll be speaking for you guys and my helmet is ready too yeah and this DSG jacket which is lying on my bean bag <laughs> is uh, I've already mentioned about it in past and it's well padded it's pretty decent so I will be wearing the lining only till morning because it's gonna be a little cold I'm leaving at 4 but then around 9 or 10 o'clock when I take a break I'll remove the lining and put it in the bag Yeah, forgot to mention my socks, my Royal Enfield socks which I'm wearing tomorrow yeah, so this is actually given by my friend. I just told you guys his name is Siddhant. Uh, he has a Himalayan and I'll be reviewing that soon. And how does it operate? It's very simple. It's like you just have to remove this off, unfold this and put water in it. This is so cool. And you close it again. And uh, here, this becomes airtight. It takes a little bit of pressure here and then you put it back all the way here and it's done right now the reason i have put water is i was testing it and how do you drink it is very simple so i'm gonna put it in the bag like this okay all right so i'll zip it like that and this pipe will be uh, on my jacket here so i'll just uh, i'll just lock it here like that it'll be inside this and then i'll just zip it like that so it'll be like kept like that under my arm obviously so you guys can see my arms will be free and in my pocket I'll have the pipe okay and that's all and actually uh, it has so much room that I think I can put my laptop and charger everything in this bag so I have a cushion for my laptop it's like a sleeve it's a cushion sleeve I had bought long back so I'll put my laptop in that will be safer and I'll put my charger inside so I am good to go and uh, one more thing guys I am definitely taking a medical kit okay uh, I you get this medical kit ready-made in any medical store there's Mohan medicals which provides that kit it's for 650 rupees or seven there are two kits one is a minor kit one is a major kit I'm buying the minor one which has a gauze tape, which has a savlon in it, which has a antiseptic cream like soframycin, it has band-aids, it has a crepe, crepe band-aid, uh, it also has the cotton gauze, uh, you know, for cleaning any wound or something. So I am definitely carrying that. Uh, in this medical kit, you can definitely do changes, like you can add your uh, special medicines like anti-acidic, because uh, one thing I know that a lot of people on motorcycle for long rides feel acidic because you're continuously sitting and you're just drinking water and just having food and you're continuously riding so you feel acidic so I feel that everyone should carry a Digene, a set of Digene if they're good with Digene then they can have chew that whenever they feel acidic or they can carry a Pandy yeah so you can customize your medical kit as per your needs uh, and I have uh, got that I do have a small uh, medical kit Actually, I have two medical kits. Uh, one is a very basic one. Uh, this one, the first aid kit, which is very basic. It's very handy. The other one has all the medicines and a bigger bottle of Savlon and stuff like that. And um, I have a small pouch of um, I have a small pouch of my toiletries such as my toothbrush, my face wash, deodorant, or whatever so and so. And uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much. And what I'm wearing uh, while I'm riding is making sure that I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt because it's gonna be hot. Mostly I'll wear my baraklava or I'll wear my bandana depending uh, what is suitable for me. And I think besides that everything is good to go. So 
Yeah, and I'm just doing like a 500, 600 kilometers ride uh, one way. I'll stay in Ahmedabad. I'll vlog one day in Ahmedabad, and I'll come next day. Run of Kutch. I'll see. A lot of people are saying it's no use. It is hot. It is extremely hot. So I'll see how it goes. If not, I'll go till the little run of Kutch and come back, or maybe not go. It completely depends on the flow. I have not decided completely where I'm going, but I'm just going to Ahmedabad, meeting my cousins, chilling there. and let's see how it goes for the so well this is the other saddle back of yash because he put the back rest on his motorcycle he can only put one of it the other one he gave me to use it which is like my toolbox um i have a uh, the clutch cable inside and i have couple of parts here and there and this would be my regular bag to keep my gloves or anything like a baraklava and all right now i have a baraklava inside uh, my mask and uh, sorry about the bad lighting and um, so yeah so the tools are here are uh, very very important that you have to carry your bike papers i am carrying my insurance i am carrying my rc book and my puc these three things are very important while traveling okay and uh, bike is fine and i was missing out on the basic bulb so i've just added that i'll just show it to you guys yeah so that's my uh, dim bulb and the bright leds are perfect so the lights are all sorted um bike sounds good okay the sounds perfect that the thump this thumper is going to be on the nh8 highway tomorrow streaming yeah fortunately yash also gave me these awesome 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 riding pants uh by cramster Check these pants out. This is like premium stuff. He's given me for this ride. Actually, he bought it for this ride himself because he's going to do a lot of rides in future with me. But unfortunately, he can't join me. So he gave me his pants, and uh, these are padded. So I won't be putting knee pads uh, because these are completely padded, knee padded. And uh, if you see the best part, it does have a zipper system to uh, to join my jacket. my jacket has a extra zip lock below where i can lock the zip here so my jacket and my pants don't uh, you know they are well connected so this is good and uh, it's also padded near the thigh area guys you guys can't see it but it's very very well padded and i think this is around 7k or 6k or something like no okay so this is around uh, 5950 he's not even removed the tag and can you imagine i am wearing it he should be wearing it but he's and you can see the reflectors so this is amazing and um thigh pad knee pad i think does have hip cushioning most of yes 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 check this out guys okay this is the best part it does have nice lining for the hip hip area uh a little leather near the fork area so that uh it's you know quite intact so great pants and i'm very very happy with it plus come with uh, pockets and uh, extra belt um so that pretty intact near the boots area also it's pretty good so i'm going to wear this on and it'll be a good uh, try for me and if this is a success uh for future i think i'll buy it also but the quality is really really good um uh, this is good for the weather so that's regarding my bike and the tools uh, basically the clutch cable and everything which i have installed and um, i was supposed to travel tomorrow morning but unfortunately my insurance actually starts from monday i have applied for new insurance my insurance had lapsed and uh, the 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 insurance which i have is basically a print out of my email so actually it starts from tomorrow 12 at uh, 12 in the night and that's the reason it's a little dangerous that if something happens tomorrow i might be not under the claim so i'm not taking that risk because i can ride any time i want so it doesn't make a difference so instead of tomorrow morning i'm leaving day after morning but everything else is set all right so that was a quick video of what i'm taking along while i'm riding so uh, you will see the rest of the details in my riding vlog all right so stay tuned for my motor vlog and i hope you like this video and as usually well sleep well be good signing off ride with raj